hey guys so welcome back to this channel in this particular tutorials we are going to be looking at how to check for internet connections before we go ahead and make our web request so this is very important because sometimes you might actually have a very poor internet connection and your web request will always fail so you kind of need a check to ensure that yeah your web request can go through that means that you have sufficient internet connectivity to be able to make your web request so this is what we are going to be doing in this particular tutorials so if this is your first time of dropping by in this channel do well to hit the subscribe button and also turn off your notification alert so that you can always know when i make this kind of videos and also feel free to watch other videos on the channel so guys without wasting much time let's jump right into it now the main focus of this tutorial is not to you know do beautiful designs so i'm gonna go ahead and paste the design that we are going to be using so we have an edit test and the layout height is 200 dp the width is match parent and the hint is json result and the id is result test so we have the button as well and also we put all of this inside the linear layer as you can see here so now that we have our design ready we're going to go to our main activity and reference these views that we have here. So this is my main activity. So I'm going to go ahead and define a new AD test. I'm going to call this result test. And also I'm going to go ahead and define my button. So let's go ahead and connect the views. Result test will be equal to AD test find view by ID. Now we're going to do the same thing for our request button. So request button will be equal to. So now let's add a click event handler for our request button. Okay, so this is our click event handler. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and create a web request. So to do that, I'm going to first of all define our URL. This will be equal to. So we are going to create a web request to a dummy JSON URL. Okay, so we will be expecting some dummy json strings so i'm gonna go to my browser i have that open so i'm gonna copy this url so i'm gonna go back to visual studio i'm going to paste it here so this will be our url so i'm gonna go ahead and say system.net the web request i'm gonna call this request this will be equal to default bracket so we're gonna say request will be equal to system.net the web request dot create we're going to pass our URL to this method. I'm going to set the timeout. So the next thing will be to set the method, our request method. So the next thing we need to do will be to define our web response. I'm going to call this response. This will be equal to default web response. Okay. So I'm going to say response will be equal to request the get response the next will be to define our string i'm going to call this received so this is more like the basic way of doing a simple web request and response right so you can actually make use of the http client which is very less verbose but this is actually very basic as well so i'm going to say response the get response string and lastly, I'm going to define my stream reader. I'm going to call this maybe my stream or stream reader. This will be equal to new stream reader. And I'm going to pass it the stream I just received. So finally, I'm going to say string JSON will be equal to stream reader dot read to end. So this will go ahead and read the response as a string. So this will do. Now I'm going to go ahead and say result test dot test equal to JSON. So now that we have this, I'm going to go ahead and run an app and to ensure that everything works properly. Okay, so the app is deploying. So let's go ahead and click on request. So as you can see, everything will work properly. We have the JSON response from this JSON placeholder URL. So I'm going to go ahead and put this device on airplane mode. 
So let's try and make the request again. So I'm going to clear this. I'm going to click on request. Boom. As you can see, we just got an error, right? So now that we have this error, we need to look for a way to check for internet connectivity before we go ahead and make this web request. Okay. So I'm going to drop this. So to do this, we need to go to our Nugget Package Manager and install a new package. All right. So I'm going to go to Manage Nugget Packages. I'm going to search for Zam the plugin the connectivity so this particular nugget package will help us to know whether we have internet connection or not before we go ahead and make our web request so i'm going to hit install so this has been installed successfully so i'm going to go back to our main activity so before i make this web request i'm going to put an if statement so i'm going to say if not cross connectivity so I'm gonna to have to pull in this reference okay the current dot is connected so this will return a boolean value of true or false to tell us whether our device is connected to the internet or not so all I'm checking here is when is not connected so when is not connected to the internet I'm gonna display a toast so after showing the toast we're gonna to go ahead and return okay we don't want it to continue execution we just want it to end here all right so guys this is just the basic way of doing it so let's go ahead and run our app again so let's see the difference okay so our app is ready to rock and roll now as you can see our device is still in airplane mode so i'm gonna go ahead and click on request Boom, as you can see, no internet connection. So as you can see, no internet connection. So our app will just continue and make the web request and error out and crash. So this is a very simple and straightforward way for checking for internet connectivity before we make our web request. This is also to help us prevent errors. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove our device from airplane mode. So we're going to wait a minute so that the network will return. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and request. Boom. So everything works properly. So when there is no network, your app wouldn't break. And when there is network, your web request will go successfully. So I also suggest that you use a try catch when making a web request to ensure that whatever errors that happens along the line, depending if network disappears along the line or something, you'll be able to handle that and that wouldn't crash your app. So what I mean is that you can go ahead and say, try catch, catch. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull in this reference. So you can go ahead and say console the right line, ex the message. Now that, so when you have that, we're gonna go ahead and copy all of this into the try block so this will help us curtail any error that can actually occur in the process of our web request and this will go ahead and display the error in our console window so guys this will be all for now i hope you really learned something if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also if you're yet to subscribe to the channel please consider hitting the subscribe button and also click the bell notification to join the notification squad so guys, bye for now and I will see you soon.